happy new year buddies welcome back to my channel you are welcome to 2023 our year of joy our year of breakthrough our year of fulfillment our year of faithfulness i pray that the lord guide i pray that the lord protects and i pray that the lord lead us we will appreciate every fragment of the lord are you ready for 2023 i've won my coat of joy i've won my coat of faith and i am ready to go let's go and flourish it's your baby girl again Oshine Adeola on today's episode I am here to teach you guys how to make our 3d appliques so we need copper wire is 0 0.5 we need our rhinestone very important depending on what quantity of 3d applique you want to do then my emming gum my organza very important and my polyester quinoline fabric first of all i'm trying to arrange the polyester quinoline on the table then i'm going to introduce it to my emming gum the emming gum is very very important in this 3d project so you just have to be careful so you need to align the emming gum carefully on the polyester quinoline carefully you just have to be careful with it arrange it smoothly then your organza comes in you just have to be careful with it because organza fabrics are very light So after then, you need to put a cloth because of the texture of the organza. You need to put a cloth on it so it doesn't burn the fabric. Then you press. You press smoothly that the emming gum doesn't show on both sides of the polyester, crinoline, and the organza. So you take your time and press. It will take a while, yeah, but you just have to take your time and press it, okay? Then cut out the quantity you've worked on just cut it out i will still actually iron but like for now i just have to trim out the parts i had already worked on then i will press after pressing smoothly then you take any paper take your cover that has like different details inside then form a circle of what you actually want for your 3d it do not have to be circle it could be flat form it could be of any form it could be like straight form any shape of your choice you can as well freehand if you don't mind if you're good in illustrations you can as well freehand so i'm here trying to cut out after that you paste what you've illustrated on the 3d you've created you also need to understand that the organza is on both face of the polyester crinoline you have to paste the organza on the right side and the good side of the polyester crinoline and put your emming gum smoothly on the both side so this is the quantity i need for now now this part you need to pay attention to the kind of glue you'll be using for this 3d working so you either use the uhu glue or you go for this e7000 glue you can see i have two glues at the moment i have the b6000 and the e7000 has 3.7 ft very good it's still much more preferable if you don't have the uhu glue the capacity is very nice and it will last longer on the 3d that you've created so then you place the glue gently carefully on the 3d you've created you also need to know that these glues can be very messy all you need to do that is preferable is to carefully attach the glue on two of the 3d while attaching it on the second 3d the first 3d you've attached is getting dried up then you can now place your rhinestone For you to get this applique 3d very smooth and neat you need to be careful in everything you do you just have to pay attention and be careful so that it doesn't get disorganized as you can see i'm just trying to control the rhinestone carefully on the 3d applique so 
so this is the feel i've done as you can see i'm just trying to do another 3d for you so you can see how careful i did it again So you can see how smooth and calm I was while making the rhinestones on the applique. So this is the final look. After you do everything, you need to make them dry. You need to make the glue dry like to your satisfaction. Can you see the beauty I'm seeing? Like can you see the beauty I'm seeing? Yeah? I'm so happy to do this. So this segment, I just want to introduce you to the copper wire segment. The first one, I actually did not fix in the copper wire because I didn't need copper wire for that particular one. Now I need the copper wire. So all I did was to trim out another part of the 3D that I've made. This copper wire is not 0.5 but I will definitely advise you guys to buy a 0.5 just in case. This is like a 0.23 or so. So it's not as strong. So all I did was to twist the copper wire in two places. That is I folded the copper wire into two then I twisted it. Then you cannot put it in the middle of the divided organza you know i told you earlier that the organza will be on the both face of the polyester crinoline so you can use any part of the organza either the right side or the wrong side of the organza for the copper wire so you just have to divide one part of the organza and put the copper wire in the middle of it and then lay your glue carefully on the copper wire you just have to take your time like i always say always take your time after that you put your aiming gum on the polyester crinoline then put your ganza on it and iron carefully you can see how flexible this 3d is different from the other that one is not bendable this one is flexible you can design it anyway anyhow of your choice so i'm trying to fix another one so you can see how i did it again one more time you can see how flexible it's actually very flexible you can be creative with it you can fold it like a leaf form and design it anywhere of your choice after that you cannot push the glue carefully like you did for the other 
3D that you've made earlier. So you put the glue, then you arrange the rhinestone carefully at the same time. This is another beautiful 3D that you can also use to construct your 3D on the fabric that you've designed. So after putting your 3D that you've made, then this one is just to like beautify it. You can always attach and use needle and thread to like stitch it on it. So I'm trying to make as many as I can. After that, you cannot couple everything together and twist it and make any design of your choice you can do branches as well you can make like a leaf branches on the tree that kind of scenario all you need is the copper wire the rhinestone the detachable rhinestones it could be of the big size smaller sizes any size of your choice you just couple them together and make it in a beautiful form just be creative that's the aim of a fashion designer don't be a tailor be a fashion designer okay you need to create a lot of branches in different pattern for your design as many as you want and voila this is my beautiful 3d sitting pretty on my design thank you thank you thank you bodies for watching if you find this video very helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up like share subscribe and when you create from my content please always tag me thank you thank you thank you for watching please like share subscribe turn on your notification buttons because 2023 is about to be late for you and i